big debate is going on right now at a virtual Seattle City Council meeting. It is about a plan to limit the removal of homeless camps during the pandemic. Kyra 7's Graham Johnson tells us the proposal would mean camps could not be removed because of public safety. If these were typical times, Seattle City Hall would have been packed this afternoon. Instead, more than 100 people phoned in to comment for and against a proposal that would temporarily limit when camps can be removed. The most recent camp removal happened last week in the Little Saigon neighborhood. City officials say this encampment had seen a homicide, stabbings, assaults, and gunfire. Business owners didn't feel safe. It's me, my customers, and all the people around in the neighborhood that work here that, are, that have to deal with the safety and health concern. Mayor Jenny Durkin's office says Seattle has already limited camp removals during the COVID-19 pandemic, but City Council member Tammy Morales wants tighter restrictions. It's time for us to stop treating homelessness like a crime problem and start treating it like the public health crisis that it is. Morales cites CDC guidelines that people in encampments should remain where they are and that dispersing people can spread COVID-19. Morales' proposal does allow a few reasons camps can be cleared, but public safety is not one of them. Today, the mayor's office made clear Jenny Durkin opposes the bill. This legislation compromises the city's ability to really effectively respond to public health and safety issues in our community. Seattle Police Chief Carmen Best pointed to cases where criminals preyed on people who live in camps. What will happen when they know that no one is coming and they are allowed to operate with free reign? More than 100 people called in to give public comment, both for and against the bill. Unsafe and unhealthy encampments cannot be allowed to spiral out of control. I'm absolutely disgusted by the sweeps that have been going on during coronavirus when there's no safe places for people to go. At least two council members, Shama Sawant and Teresa Mosqueda, support Morales' bill. Twice last week and again today, we asked council member Tammy Morales for an interview about her proposal. Today, a spokesperson told me she had no comment. Graham Johnson, Cairo 7 News.